And so today is day five of my, no, day, day six. Sorry, don't want to lose a day there. Important day, day six of my juice journey <clears throat> that I'm recording and chronicling here on YouTube. And one of the reasons I wanted to do it was when I first started juice fasting about five years ago, <clears throat> it was, I would do a 20 day juice fast, let's say. And it was really difficult to stay the course. I felt very isolated. It was a new experience for me. <clears throat> and watching other you, people on YouTube chronicling their journey on juicing and what they were going through during the day really, really helped me. It helped me to stay strong because it helped me to um, you know, feel united and feel one with uh, others as opposed to the general population who are eating and going about their business and don't really understand your what your goals are and you know what your motivation is and you know you can't really share with them and get any support they'll just question it and think it's kooky and quirky and but when i would watch the results that people were getting on you know their juice journeys <clears throat> you know it would be very inspirational and also the challenges that I was going through that I would see other people were going through the same challenges. So that was, um, you know, one of the things I wanted to do in the future and now I'm manifesting it to chronicle my juice fast and share it with the public. So I got up this morning and I fortunately had some watermelon, pineapple and um, orange juice left in the fridge and you know, had a nice tall like a two cups actually and I got my straw and just was so you know pleased to be able to drink that I did have a little bit of coffee that I warmed up from the night before black coffee and I uh, went to meditate I came home and while I was meditating I had the desire for some chai tea so um, I said well I'm gonna allow you to have that and I had some Oregon chai <clears throat> dry mix and I thought well I'll make a nice cup of black tea and I'll put a little bit of that in there which I did and I have a nice tall glass of that my Starbucks mug <clears throat> and <clears throat> like I say I allow myself a little wiggle room a couple of times in the past six days I remem remember that I hadn't <clears throat> shared that I had some kombucha I had on two different days I had kombucha and the trick with juicing with losing weight and that's the main thing I'm doing here is at this point is um, fluids the body when it's not getting any fiber it goes into star a type of starvation mode and starts using its fat stores but now oh yeah and I also had some hot chocolate twice I had hot chocolate and, um, Swiss Miss hot chocolate, not milky. It's not very milky. It's kind of uh, a light hot chocolate. It does have sugar in it, and it has you know chocolate and a bunch of other garbage probably. <laughs> it's tasty, and it just it when I cheat like that, it just kind of helps me to stay stay on the path. And I know that I will get the results that I want, even with those that leeway and that kind of not not following you know the whole thing but I'm getting an awful lot of juice and I think that it's just uh, part of my process here and I'm being honest I want to have you know complete full disclosure in terms of what I'm doing not having any food that's for sure so anyway so then I got home and um, I had the chai I made the chai let's have another sip mmm And I, um, but I realized that I was hungry. I have a lot of errands to do today and I had to knock some juice out. I had to get the juicers out and, um, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> juice up a storm. So I didn't have any apples. Usually I make a carrot, apple, ginger juice. Oops, but I didn't have any apples, but I did have a nice big bag of kale. I had cucumber and celery. And I thought, well, let me get my green juicer out, which is an, a, uh, an emulsifying juicer and my regular juicer which is going to mean a lot of cleanup 
which I didn't really want to do, but you got to do what you got to do. And I, um, you know, juiced up, and I'll show you what the results are. I juiced up this nice, tall, green glass of goodness, which is uh, here. And then my other juicer, my Jack LaLanne juicer, which is not an emulsifier, doesn't do greens very well. I got the carrot and ginger right here. So I am going to take my funnel, which, well, actually, I don't have to take the funnel. I'm just going to pour this juice into here, into a container, and then I'm going to pour this glass into, I hope I don't spill it, <laughs> this glass of green. Yeah, it's good. I can do that. A lot of foam, a lot of froth in this juice for some reason. I don't know what that is, but there it is. And now uh, we've got a lot of froth. Okay, so I'm going to use this juice eventually, this glass eventually. So let me um, just get the, the top here. I'll take these, this green and this orange juice. I'm going to just kind of shake it up a little bit. And I'm going to put it into my glass. Final product. This will be my go-to juice for the day. Ooh, baby. Let's just try this out. I don't want to put any of these juice containers on my wobbly table, which is to my right. So I'll put it on my other table. So let me just try this out. It's good. I don't have any apples, so it's not sweet. You know, I would have liked to add, have added a beet or an apple because I like, I have a sweet tooth. But this is probably healthier than most of my juices, to be quite honest, because it's so much kale and so many greens. And really, if I really wanted to go for real weight loss and real health, I would just do green juicing. But I'm just not the woman for that. I'm not equal to that. It's too much. It's a little too much of a sacrifice for me. <laughs> mm. So that juice will keep me through my errands and allow me to go about my business. So I made, today's day six. I finished up my day five motivation card. I drew little flowers. I don't have any flowers to um, cut out from magazines. I just don't have any nice magazines. Any, I ran out of flowers from magazines, so I started drawing little flower pictures. And these cards are so important to me because I, put, I line them up, and they, they, sh they show me my progress. And it's just something fun to do that keeps me on the dime, keeps me, you know, motivated, which is the name of the game. And let's see, what else did I want to share about juicing? Yes, I, um, there's a lot of pulp with juicing, and it just seems like such a waste. And I've seen that there are veggie burger recipes on the internet using juice pulp. And I got one the other day. I got the ingredients. It includes quinoa, some fried onions and mushrooms. And I'm going to later this afternoon, in fact, I'm going to videotape it, I think, cook up a bunch of veggie burgers and put them in the freezer for after the juice fast. Because one of the things I find I really crave when I'm juicing are veggie burgers for some reason. It's like veggie burgers are like up on a, you know, illuminated billboard in my mind that I, oh, I could have a veggie burger one day. It would be so good. And then the reality is after I finish my juice fast, I rarely actually have a veggie burger. But um, I'm going to make up some homemade ones, which will be a, a cost thing too. And also I hate all the waste from juicing. It just seems like a travesty. I, I have been collecting my compost, my, you know, juice pulp in compost and I'm starting a compost pile out my backyard which when I get that better managed um, I have to create some bins with old pallets I drug home but I have to dig some holes in the ground to put the pallets in securely I have a bunch of leaves and grass clippings and now the food and then I just covered up some dirt and I you know I want to create a really good functioning compost heap because I am a compost manufacturer with this juicing I mean, I, and I hate to see it go into the, the garbage because it's just such a waste. 
wanted to return to the earth. So anyway, so that's about it for today. I'm just going to get this uploaded and then maybe I'll do the veggie burger later. I hope you're doing well on your juice journey. I um, was going to go to the gym and do a weigh-in. I think I'm about 124 now, my goal being 118. So I'm about six inches, oh, six inches, <laughs> six, yeah, it's like six inches, maybe somewhere, six pounds away from my goal. And um, I'm going to go exercise this morning, get a really good workout in because that's, I could do that now. When I first started, I didn't exercise, but now I really can. I'm, I'm very used to juicing and I can get a good, ex which I love to exercise. It's never a problem for me to go and do my walking and step and resistance training, which I really, really like. So anyway, so that's it for today. We'll check in tomorrow. Day six today. We'll see you on the morrow.